Coach Embry. Good morning. Uh, another Hootens kickoff game in the books, most importantly 1-0 on the season so far. Uh, how important was it for you guys to get off to a pretty quick start? Well, I don't know how important it was. You know, that's the first time we've won a first game since 2010, so hopefully uh, we ended 6-5 and five that year. So, uh, uh, you know, we've not been 1-0 in a long time. But, uh, you know, the, the process for us this year is for our young kids to get better each week. Now, that's something that, that we did a, a, a pretty good job of last week from our scrimmage was, was improving some, and we want to keep doing that as the season goes on. You had, a, you had a few freshmen that, that did get some playing time and, and performed pretty well. Can you speak a little bit about a couple of those guys? <clears throat> well, we got three freshmen playing for us right now. Um, uh, Traylon Burks caught a touchdown pass. Uh, you know, some things that he does really well, some things he's got to keep improving on. Uh, Kimontre McKnight had one catch. Uh, you know, he's a really fast guy that we got to get going. Uh, this is the first time he's played receiver. He played running back in, in seventh grade. and. And in junior high, he played running back as an eighth grader. So this is his first time really playing wide receiver. But we have, uh, you know, Dennis Daniels at wide receiver. So I mean, at running back. So we had to, you know, find a place for him to play. And uh, you know, it's just it's going to be a process with him catching on, understanding how to run routes, understanding how to catch the football. And uh, you know, he's getting better each each day. And then uh, on defense, uh, Marcus Miller played some at, at defensive line. He's a big freshman and. He's got a lot of upside. Marcus got a big upside. Probably one of the biggest kids that, that uh, you know, he's 6'4", 290, can run. Uh, he's got to learn how to play technique, and, and when he does that, he can help us a lot. You mentioned after the McGee scrimmage that, that you had, had a little work to do in some areas. Do you think you addressed, I know there's obviously some work to be, still to be done, but do you think you addressed some of those issues? You know, I don't know. I don't think so, uh, to be honest with you. We, we're st we still struggled up front on the offensive line. <clears throat> Defensive line, at times we played really well. At times we didn't play very well. So, you know, we kind of got carried last week by Peyton. Uh, you know, he did a great job on defense. And, and then offensively he made three big plays. And, and Dennis ran the ball hard. Hayden had a good night. and uh, But we still got a, lot of, a long ways to go to get where we want to get to. And uh, it's just going to be you – know, got you got to understand where we're at as a football team. We're very young up front. We're starting five new guys. Uh, we had a lot of busts last week uh, that maybe the you know public didn't see just because you don't know what to look for. Uh, defensive line wise, uh, we got better at times. Uh, our effort was there. That, that's a good thing as a coach. You want your effort to be there, and uh, you know we just got to keep working. Uh, you know I think there's a big difference playing a smack over early than playing a south side or a Fedbull or a Bryant or a Springdale that we've done in the past and. You don't want to get carried away because, you know, the times that we've gotten beat really bad, it was never as bad as what everybody thought it was. So when you beat somebody, it's never as good as we think, what you think it is, too. And we understand that as a coaching staff, and our football team understands that. You're pretty used to it because the Hootons kickoff games have been part of the schedule for, for a while. Uh, but how does how does that really, for our viewers who don't understand, obviously, your weekly schedule, how does that change having having a week off there basically for until your second game? Well, we like it because it gives us 10 days to get better. And, and uh, you know, and we have. We, we, we've been we've improved in some spots. We moved some guys around trying to make us a better football team. And that's what I like about it because most of the time you improve more between your game one and your game two. And that gives us really three or four days of last week to come back and just work on Warren. Not have to worry about Stuttgart, just work on us, what we did wrong, what we can improve in. And then really not get into Stuttgart till this week. We do face the Rice Birds uh, this Friday night. Uh, what do you expect? You know they're physical. Always physical. It's always a, a good football game. Uh, last year over there we were really good, and I think we beat them 28 to seven. And uh, you know I think that uh, every time we've played them over the past, I don't know how many times we've played them since I've been here, but it's been a bunch that. You can always expect a physical football game. They're well coached, and you know it's going to give us a good, good measuring stick of where we're at up front. I don't think that we got a good measuring stick last week uh, uh, up front. I think that we got a ways to go on the offensive line. We need to play some guys that are, you know, last week uh, Bearden was not very, I mean, no, Bearden Smacko was not very big, which we're going to see a lot bigger guys this week, and I may see how we do. Coach, good luck. Thank you. All right, thank you.